we cannot compete with the Premier League. You know, it's yeah. impossible. And, you know, we're, we're scrapping here for, like I said, you know, Doherty, fringe player at Spurs coming to, to Atletico Madrid, you know, the team that's in the third place. You know, Jose Perez, another fringe player for Newcastle, you know, going to Betis. You know, Betis, mm. can, you know, one of the top teams in Spain trying to get into mm. the Champions League can't uh, afford themselves to, to sign a player to, to give them that push. Goal! Oh, you mentioned Tebas and La Liga. You know, mm. we've just had the transfer window. And listen, like, it's hard to get excited about transfers in La Liga because... You know, I see, I saw the last few transfers, like some loan deals, you know, um, Doherty coming to Atletico <coughs> Madrid on a yeah. free or on a loan, sorry. Um, who else came from the Premier League on a loan deal? You know, like mm. we're basically scraping the barrel here in Spain. And I think yeah. the total expenditure is 26 million. Yeah, uh, I saw that. Which is basically less than what Bournemouth would spend for one player, a Traore from Sassuolo. You know, 30 million they spent, not to mention what Chelsea have done, you know, what, what uh, you know, United, uh, I mean, not United, but, you know, Liverpool. And it's, yeah. it's ridiculous, you know, it's, it's ridiculous. How do we fix this? Because I get it from one point that, you know, La Liga wants to control spend expenditures and, and make sure that, you know, we don't have any, um, you know, teams that, that drop down and, and you know, there's a lot of debt to Hacienda yeah. and all that. But then yeah. how do we stay? How do we stay yeah. competitive? Uh, yeah. I mean, that's exactly it. Stan, mm -hmm. you, 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 how, you know, when Tebas came in and I, I'm never shy with, with my criticism towards Tebas, I've, I've never been shy of giving him credit where I felt that it was due when he came in, he saved La Liga, right? He saved so many teams from bankruptcy uh, with uh, austere measures, sure. And the fact that he put in, you know, this this sort of salary cap like structure that limits teams' ability to uh, uh, sign players, etc. Et uh, he was able to sanear, right, to to make La Liga healthy again, and um, and of course. You know the success of La Liga has has been has been astounding. I mean, over the past two decades, three decades, arguably let's let's say two decades. I mean, it's it's internationally and domestically, it's been. Um, first of all, I mean, I I think this narrative of La Liga being a two horse race um, is it obviously has a lot of truth to it. However, you can't deny the successes of the other teams. In particular, rewinding the clock back to when Valencia, you know, was competing and winning league tro trophies under Benitez. Uh, you had Super Depor. You had, of course, Atletico as well. You had the rise yeah, of, of Villarreal. And, of course, in Sevilla and Europe. And then internationally, yeah, uh, the success of Atletico and, and the Sevillas, etc. Um, it, it, it's, it's undeniable, right? Now, I think we've come to a point where the English Premier League is more of a super league than ever. Um, have you seen, I'm trying so many people to uh, watch this docu-series called Super League, The F the War for Football. Yeah, have I you saw seen the it? first two or three episodes. Ah, yeah, it, it's really, it's really wonderful. good. It's wonderful. Yeah. It's great. It's great. So I, unbeknownst to me, the English Premier League was started as a, a breakaway league and it was uh, dubbed, it was branded the Super English Premier League. And like I said, it was a breakaway league with, you know, the top, what was it, the top 20, uh, I forget the exact number, was it 24? 20, 20 I, I think. 20 teams, right? Um, forming this league, et cetera, et cetera. And, and obviously now, and, and they've done a great job over the years in marketing and, and sorting out their uh, uh, sustainability and, and, and the, the broadcasting uh, royalties that, that they are pulling in are, are, you know, far exceed those of La Liga. And there's a still, you know, all the other leagues, in particular La Liga, obviously, that we're interested in are still just playing catch up. Uh, to to the the ground paved by the Premier League and and it will take a long time before I would imagine we will see similar numbers coming in into Spain. But the to answer your question, like how 
do we combat this uh, or how do we try to compete with the English Premier League that have just uh, uh, um, you know endless amounts bottom of wealth <laughs> yeah an exact bottomless pit thanks to the Russian oligarchs and the, the oil money and and, and the, 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 you know the, et cetera et cetera all all these but, but, uh, then, but then look at the, um, we talked about Valencia okay yeah. they have a foreign owner you know Almeria but he's not allowed owner. to spend Right, yeah, but he's not thing. allowed to spend. That's yeah. the thing. We already have the foreign ownership, but it's yeah. just the system that's preventing them from. Correct. Correct. So what? my 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 question or my answer rather is like like at this point in time, maybe Tebas needs to loosen the belt a little bit, and these austere measures that he implemented when he came in uh, need to be revised and revisited and and adjusted to allow us to now compete with, you know, the English Premier League that are just snatching up all of the talents away. F- you know, internationally, but but again, in our interest from Spain, of course. Um, and and I'll, I'll say this, you know, uh, I think probably from from what I have read or what I've heard and seen, and I think that documentary, the the Super League, the War for Football, outlines it outlines it very well. You know, I'm a proponent in that sense of the Super League, and I think that would be one way where. Yes, your big teams in Spain could uh, rake in more money, but I think as the documentary also uh, uh, outlined, or Florentino in particular, that money would it would have a trickle down effect, right? It would be trickle down economics, where then the rest of La Liga teams could also benefit from that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we have are you are you minutes. for are you for the uh, are you in favor of the Super League? Where do you stand on it? No, I agree with you. I think the Super League is already created and it's the Premier League with the current, yeah. you know, financial restrictions that other leagues have. So I think it's either we fix the problem and we fix the FFP where it actually controls, you know, things like Chelsea this window. You know, obviously they've used the loophole and they've been signing players that are on longer contracts and amortization and, you know, all these mm-hmm. concepts that they, they're trying to get away with things but we yeah, yeah we either fix things universally and everyone abides by those rules or we just let a free market rule and and we do that because at the end of the day we cannot compete with the premier league you know it's yeah. impossible and you know we're we're scrapping here for like i said you know doherty fringe player at spurs coming to to atletico madrid you know the team that's in the third place you know jose perez Another fringe player for Newcastle, you know, going to Betis, you know, Betis, mm. can, you know, one of the top teams in Spain trying to get into mm. the Champions League can't uh, afford themselves to, to sign a player to to give them that push for the Europa League, for the for the league position. It's just disappointing to see um, that uh, La Liga is not competitive and, you know, it doesn't excite the fans. Obviously, I think, the like I said, the Premier League is overdoing it where... It's too much, you know. The, the, you know what what Chelsea has been doing this transfer window, spending it's over hundred million for young talents and things like this. You know, they they're really inflating the market. And of course, yeah. when a Premier League goes to the Serie, A, goes to the Liga, they're milked for a lot more and things like this. Yeah. But yeah, if we want to see a more competitive uh, <laughs> domestic leagues, I think. Something needs to be done on a universal level. I don't want to see the Super League as an as a separate entity, to be honest. But okay, seeing that documentary and and looking at the Premier League, I do think um, it's inevitable that yeah. Barca, Real Madrid, Juve, Bayern will eventually want a piece of the pie. Yo, 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 what's up? Hey, subscribe to Stan Sports. I'm pointing at him. You can't see him. But yeah, subscribe. Good content, good guy. Yeah, keep it up, bro.